Goldilocks and the Three Bears Retold and illustrated by James Marshall This is a Caldecott Honor Award book Once there was a little girl called Goldilocks What a sweet child, said someone new in town That's what you think, said a neighbor One morning, Goldilocks' mother sent her to buy muffins in the village. You must promise not to take the shortcut through the forest. I've heard the bears live there. I promise, said Goldilocks. But to tell the truth, Goldilocks <clears throat> was one of those naughty little girls who did exactly as they pleased. Shortcut. Danger. Very risky. Not a good idea. Turn back. Go the other way. Look at her face. Meanwhile, in a clearing deeper inside the forest, in a charming house all their own, a family of brown bears was sitting down to breakfast. Patooey, cried big old Papa Bear. The porridge is scalding. I've burned my tongue. Oh, like, Patooey, I'm dying, cried Baby Bear. Now, really, said Mama Bear, who was of medium size. That's quite enough. I know, said Papa Bear. Why don't we go for a spin while the porridge is cooling? Excellent, said Mama Bear. So they got on their rusty old bike and went off. A few minutes later, Goldilocks arrived at the bear's house. She walked right in without even bothering to knock. On the dining room table were three inviting bowls of porridge. I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, helping herself to the biggest bowl. Well, that's rude. But the porridge in the biggest bowl was much too hot. Patooey, cried Goldilocks, and she spat it out. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl, but the porridge was much too cold. Then Goldilocks tasted the porridge in the little bowl. It was just right, neither too hot nor too cold. In fact, she liked it so much that she gobbled it all up. Feeling full and satisfied, Goldilocks thought it would be great fun to have a look around. Right away, she noticed a lot of coarse brown fur everywhere. They must have kitties, she said. In the parlor, there were three chairs. I don't mind if I do, she said, climbing onto the biggest one. But the biggest chair was much too hard and she couldn't get comfortable. Bless our happy home. I like their little house. Next, she sat in the medium-sized chair, but the chair was much too soft, and she thought she might never get out of it. Then Goldilocks sat in the little chair, and that was just right. Neither too hard nor too soft. In fact, she liked it so much that she rocked and rocked until the chair fell completely to pieces. Now all the rocking left Goldilocks quite tuckered out. I could take a little snooze, she said, so she went to look for a comfy place to nap. Upstairs were three beds. I don't mind if I do. And she got in the biggest one, but the head of the biggest bed was much too high. Next she tried the medium-sized bed, but the head of the bed was much too low. Then Goldilocks tried the little bit, and it was just right. Soon she was all nice and cozy and sound asleep. She did not hear the bears come home. He has so many things. Look at his bedroom. Airplanes, clowns, books, boats, everything. I love his little bedroom. Could use a little cleaning. 
The three bears were mighty hungry, but when they went in for breakfast, they could scarcely believe their eyes. <gasps> Somebody has been in my porridge, said Papa Bear. Somebody has been in my porridge, said Mama Bear. Somebody has been in my porridge, said Baby Bear, and eaten it all up. In the parlor, the three bears were in for another surprise. Somebody has been in, sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear, and broken it to smithereens. The three bears went upstairs on tiptoe, not knowing what they would discover. At first, everything seemed fine, but then Papa Bear lay down on his bed with big brass bed. Somebody has been laying on my bed, and he was not amused. Eggs, cried Mama Bear. Somebody has been laying in my bed. Look, somebody has been laying in my bed, and she's still there. Now see here, roared Papa Bear. Goldilocks woke up with a start, and her eyes nearly popped out of her head. And But before the bears could demand a proper exclamation, Goldilocks was out of bed, out the window, and on her way home. Who was that little girl? asked Baby Bear. I have no idea, said Mama Bear, but I hope we never see her again. And they never did. <laughs> Look at her face. Do you think she'll go down that scary way again? Yeah. The end.